Well, buddy, Navi leaks for like a whole day before the full announcement over at AMD's next Horizon event at E3 and possible details regarding AMD's 16 core Ryzen CPU surfaced thanks to Wicry over at Video Cards. Well, let's kick things off with the Radeon news. The final specifications of the AMD Radeon RX 5700 XT graphics card featuring the 7 nanometer Navi GPU architecture have leaked out by the team over at Video Cards, and the specifications confirm one of two Radeon RX 570 graphics cards which are arriving in the mainstream gaming segment in July of 2019, so next month. The AMD Radeon RX 5700 XT is based on the 7 nanometer Navi GPU, which makes use of the latest RDNA core architecture, Radeon DNA. According to AMD themselves, the RDNA architecture brings a revamped CU or compute unit design, which should deliver much better gaming performance than the existing line of GCN based graphics cards. Now, some of the key upgrades on Navi GPU will include a new compute unit design, as we mentioned, multi level cache hierarchy, and a streamlined graphics pipeline. In terms of specifications, the Radeon RX 5700 XT comes with 40 compute units in total, and since AMD have already confirmed that the compute unit design still features 64 stream processors, we'll be getting 2,560 stream processors in total, which is the same number the Radeon R9 290 had and 390, should be interesting to see that. The chip itself is clocked at 1605 megahertz on the base clock, but includes two additional clock speeds, a boost clock and a game clock. The boost clock is rated for 1905 megahertz, while the game clock is rated at 1755 megahertz. Now, what we can make the difference from these two is that the boost is the theoretical maximum speed the reference card would be able to hit, but the average clock speeds while gaming is what the game clock itself represents. With that said boost clock, AMD expects a maximum of 9.75 teraflops of single precision compute from the Radeon RX 5700 XT, and the card is also confirmed to feature 8GB of GDDR6 memory that should run across a 256-bit wide bus interface. It would be interesting to see if AMD chooses the same 14 gigabits per second GDDR6 dies as Nvidia or if they go for a more cheaper alternative that operates somewhere between 10 or 12 gigabytes per second. In addition to that, it should be pointed out that since there is an XT variant, there should also be a cut down Pro variant, which has always been the case for AMD graphics cards. So it won't be a surprise if AMD also has a Radeon RX 5700 Pro ready for announcement during their E3 Next Horizon event. Kind of reminds me of the 9700 Pro. So we're good cards. The Navi RX 5700 series may not be all that AMD plans to show off tomorrow. As it turns out, there may be more that the company plans to unveil. A fresh new leak has just landed squarely on our plate, courtesy of our friends over at Video Cards once again, and it's an absolute whopper. So let's dig right into this. I'm hungry. AMD's monstrous Ryzen 9 3950X CPU has been leaked and touted as the world's first ever 16-core 32-thread gaming chip. Boasting a blistering 4.7 GHz turbo clock speed, the behemoth of a chip would make use of two full 8-core Zen 2 dies, or chiplets rather, which invariably will have to be hand-picked to deliver this high of a turbo clock speed right out of the box. The Ryzen 9 3950X is quite extraordinary on many fronts. For one, if the specifications are accurate as leaked, this is the highest ever clock speeds we've ever seen on any Zen chip that is not running any sort of exotic cooling, let alone right out of the box. The frugal 105 watt TDP also makes it the most power efficient 16 core desktop CPU that we've ever seen. Unfortunately, the leaker did not shed any light on pricing, so you can rest assured that this chip is impressive is going to cost a pretty penny. We could be looking at AMD's first $999 AM4 desktop CPU, which would bring an ultra high-end enthusiast class product to the mainstream socket. But just like with Ryzen or Zen, well, Zen 2, I had my own predictions and I'm going to go for $799 on this one. That's me, that's Keith's prediction, not the site's, just mine. So keep that in mind. So stay tuned to see if this leak has any truth to it. And we'd love to hear your thoughts on the Radeon card. Pretty sure that one's spot on because it matches up with previous leaks that we had exclusives on. 
and the CPU is very interesting as well. We'd love to hear your thoughts on both of these. Which one of these are you more excited about? And what would an enticing price be for a 16 core mainstream desktop CPU for you? This has been Keith with WCCF Tech TV. Make sure that you're subscribed and you've hit that notification bell so that we don't miss you guys in the next one.